now back. Hey, Katie. What do you call a potato that just sits and watches other vegetables? Hmm. Um, I give up. What? A spectator. <laughs> Good one. You see, once potatoes are planted in the ground, farmers become spectators too, watching and waiting for the crops to mature. But how are potatoes grown? Beats me. Let's go find out. Obviously, there's a lot of research that goes into growing a potato, but farmers also want to make sure they're not affecting other animals or plants when they grow their crops so that the whole ecosystem is in harmony. We're here with Jeb Barzin, who's going to tell us all about why it's so important to grow healthy grown potatoes in an environmentally friendly way. Healthy grown potatoes come from farms where farmers say they want to manage their farm as a whole. Ecologists like me translate that to think about how you can manage your farm like a native ecosystem. And those native ecosystems produce all kinds of things. Um, not just the potato that you eat on your table, but cranes. Uh, they store carbon. They can create cleaner water. They can do all sorts of things that benefit people as well as all other animals and plants. So healthy grown potatoes benefit more than just people, huh? Very much so. And that one way that, that you can look at it is to say, well, how can we solve the environmental problems that we have? And as an example, name an environmental problem that you are familiar with. Um, global warming? A great example. What's the problem with global warming? How does it form? Why is it caused? Pollution. From what? Gas? Yeah, type of gas. What kind of gas do you know? Um, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is exactly right. And carbon dioxide is something that we breathe out, so you can't say simply, stop breathing, right? <laughs> so, but what you can do is you can decrease the amount of carbon that you produce, but you also can increase the amount of carbon that you take from the air and store it. And so in farms, you can not only produce potatoes, but you can store carbon. All that can come from the same farm. And the healthy grown process is a way to try and as best we can to put those different resources together into something that we can buy and support through that purchase. Cool. Ever notice that when a potato sits on the shelf too long, it begins to sprout? That's what a seed potato is. We're here with Tom Wild, who's going to tell us all about the unique ways potatoes are grown. Ever heard of seed potatoes? No. Well, I'm a seed grower, and I can tell you about them. Seed potatoes are grown for reproductive purposes. What we do is we uh, take these potatoes, you can take a small one and plant a whole, or a large one, and you can cut it. All you have to do is make sure there's an eye on each piece. Potatoes have eyes? Oh, you bet they do. Here's an eye, here's an eye, here's an eye. When you plant them in the ground, the potato will start to sprout from that eye, and that's what will grow and grow a potato plant. Some of the potatoes my mom bought a couple of weeks ago started to sprout. If I planted that in the soil and watered it, would I be able to grow my own potatoes? Well, possibly. We take potatoes and handle them much differently than what they are that go to the store and the processing plants. Our potatoes are planted and we do everything possible to keep them disease free for the two to four years that we raise them. So what does a seed grower do? What a seed grower does is we start out with very clean, small amount of seed and then we will grow it for two to three to four years in a row. We use practices that keep that seed very clean and free of disease so that we in turn at the end of that time can sell it to the grower that is going to go ahead and sell it to uh, the stores. What we do is we plant in May, harvest in September, and then we put the potatoes on a pile like you see behind you here. And we will keep them at about 38 degrees all winter long until our customers need them in the spring. That maintains the best condition for a seed potato so it will grow the healthiest, strongest, disease-free plant possible when they plant them in the spring. Cool. Thanks, Tom. Let's go see what happens next. All right. Hey there, it's Cassidy again. Ever wonder how spuds really sprout? After seed potatoes are buried in the ground, sprouts develop from the eyes and grow upward out of the soil. Roots then start to develop. Leaves and branch stems develop and roots continue to build. Several weeks later, tubers begin to develop and their cells start to expand as they receive nutrients. In the final stages, the vines turn yellow, lose leaves, and die. Growth slows and the flesh inside of the potato reaches a maximum. 
the outside skin sets and the potato is ready to be harvested. A fully grown potato is 80% water and 20% solids. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah! Learn more about these terrific tubers by visiting intotheoutdoors.org. Stay tuned because after the break, we're going to see how these spectacular spuds are pulled out of the ground. Don't go away, there's more. Into the Outdoors! 